<laughs> He's getting jumped by like three of us. It's like, steal it! Everyone goes for him. Oh man, of course I had to get the kill there too. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some gameplay here of these new freeze weapons, the snare. So these weapons have a range of 600 meters. Uh, they are freeze weapons, which means, you know, once you freeze the enemy up, they take on 20% more damage, uh, equivalent to a death mark. And they are energy weapons as well. So you might struggle with uh, things like the shell or anything with a physical shield. Uh, but if they don't have that, uh, you can pretty much, uh, you know, melt them with these weapons. So I do have um, overdrives on your advanced repair. Here are the pilot skills for the uh, blitz. And what's going to amplify that damage even further is the drone. So I'm going to use the Octanian drone here. I actually have two freezer chips. And you might be wondering, you know, why would I use freezer chips on... Uh, freeze weapons so it's more to build up that accumulation a lot quicker because once i'm able to reach that state where the enemy is frozen um, they start taking on that 20 percent additional damage a lot quicker so uh, that's the whole reason behind that okay and the rest of my hangar we do have um, the leech i'm actually going to be doing a video on this tomorrow so if you have a leech uh, definitely stay tuned for that and also consider subscribing if you haven't already and uh, we also have the Arachi idea video on this uh, yesterday. We have the Demeter, the Favnia. Speaking of the Favnia, I do currently have a giveaway where I'm giving away 200 of these. If you happen to miss that live stream, definitely check it out. I'll leave a link to that in the video description as well. So uh, yeah, we have the Arthur here. And um, once again, with the splits, I'm going to be running uh, two games. And we're going to see what the potential of this build is. Um, I have done the uh, Typhon and the Behemoth as well. I'll leave links to that in the video description. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's hop into the first game here using the Blitz. Okay, so game one, we have dropped in on carrier map. And I'm looking at the teams. I think this is going to be like a squad battle here. So we have Wick versus Vendetta from um, Amazon, I think it is. Let's see if we can try to take this guy down. So this build I'm running right now is terrible against shells. I've actually run a couple of games and it really is terrible <laughs> against shells. This guy's blocking, he's blocking all my shots here. You gotta watch this side too, guys. Oh shoot, not good, not good. Okay, so I did suppress him, but we do have a bit of a problem. Um, there is a player below here. My teammates need a... Oh shoot, another one! So you see how I'm struggling? Just keep in mind, guys, I have all the boosters, uh, you know, damage and everything, and I'm struggling against shells. A lot of players are saying these weapons are overpowered. It is far from being overpowered. You need so many things to even make it kind of work. I would have done more damage running, I think, blaze weapons. Trying to focus on this guy here. Jeez. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they don't have more of those shells. Okay, I'm just trying to uh, save my ability here just in case. Um, you know what? We can probably go for this guy. He's going to be landing here soon. <laughs> He's getting jumped by like three of us. It's like, steal it! Everyone goes for him. Oh man, of course I had to get the kill there too. I'm kind of keeping my distance because <laughs> these weapons aren't good at close range. Just trying to focus on this guy here. Force him to go in a flight. Holy crap. There's a lot of stuff there, man. Triple kill. And I think I was getting that player. There seems to be something at center. Looks like a bulwark. Um. Let's try to focus on this guy. There we go. Rampage. And godlike. Basically stealing kills here. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think the other downside to this weapon, I noticed, like, once I fired all my shots, it 
kind of reload slowly, actually. Let me just escape here. This guy's got a shield. Let's try to get him all the way down to his last stand. There we go. Here's a... Uh, trying to focus on that Typhon. I was focusing against the, uh, the Ao Ming there too. I wanted to see how much damage I would do to this guy. Oh, that's actually doing decent damage. Now he's just healing all the way back up. <laughs> Forget I just said that. And let's try to get this guy. There we go. Crazy action happening here. Yes, we got it. Just focus on this guy. There we go. There's another player down below here, which I'm going to uh, focus on. Okay, so we're dealing with an Orochi. Let's see, we can try to take this guy out. Because I'm almost down. He's gone into a phase shift. Let's see if I can maybe a corner shoot him. There we go. We're still in this bot. That's for almost six minutes. Not bad. I'm gonna sacrifice this because we need to we need to make sure that uh, we get into our titan here they're all in their titans we need to get into our Arthur oh this guy's gonna take a swim no he didn't oh man talk up ah <laughs> there we go he almost ended up in the ocean okay so I think what I might do here is I might potentially Make a move for center with this. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a move here for center. I'm hoping that my teammates uh, help me out. So I have a couple of players who Let's knock that guy's shield down. There we go. This guy is pushing with me. We're trying to make um, make a bit of a push here, but we did get the center, and I think that's important. I just got suppressed. That's going to wear off here soon. There we go. Trying to really focus on their nodens, take out the healers first. There we go. This is uh, really well played by Wick here, backing me up. I'm gonna move uh, this way. We're making another push for this beacon too. Let's do that. I think, is there a player there? No, I don't think so. I think uh, Red Team is starting to bot out here. And... Just trying to see if I could go for this guy. There we go. They might have another. Oh, I was hoping I could steal that one. They might actually have a Titan. No, they have more. Let's go for this guy. I had to hit that uh, player before he uh, actually took flight there. So I can take advantage of that damage. Man, they have another one. Ah, oh, he's gonna kill me. Guys, I need a heal! Heal! Ah, oh, shoot. 6,000, 4,000, 3... No, push him! Did I get him off into the uh, ocean? Oh, almost. <laughs> okay, let's take a look to see how we did here in this game. I think this game was actually pretty good because we got a couple of kills with that blitz. But notice how I had to kind of... Uh, you know, basically hang back um, because if I got a little bit too aggressive, 
um, I would have uh, been taken out easily. And you could see how it's struggling uh, with physical shields. So uh, this is how we did in that game. Well played to Wick and also to, I believe it's Vendetta. Okay, so game two, we have dropped in on Castle Map. And I have started with the uh, Blitz first. Trying to figure out what these guys have back there. Um, I might be able to get this guy. Oh, jeez, this guy's getting melted. He could not even get to the uh, center here. This guy's trying to corner shoot me. So these weapons are very good against bots that don't have, like, resistance um, or physical shields. If they have that, you're going to be in trouble. So I think the only thing you can really use, uh, you know, in terms of weapons for these bots at that point is more to use it just to trigger effect chips. Let's try to amplify that damage here on this uh, Phantom. We almost got him. No, oh, wait, we have a Scorpion here. Hold on. I'm gonna run back because that Typhon was getting awfully close. You know what's kind of interesting about these weapons too? The light version seems a lot weaker than the medium and the heavy. I'm not sure if it's just my imagination. But it seems that way. Yeah, I, man, I couldn't even kill that guy. That's even when I amplified my damage too. <laughs> Maybe we get this. Oh, you know what? We actually did decent damage to that player. What on earth is that? Is that a Hellburner? What is that? I have no idea what that player is in. This guy's eyeing me because you know he wants to hit me. Um, let's see if we can help here with this guy. Oh, you know what? That's a blitz. Okay, there we go. Got him down to his last stand. Trying to knock this guy's shield down. Um, trying to get to this guy here. Man, they have a scorpion there that I actually want to take out, but I can't. Because I know these weapons aren't good against, uh, like, at close range. So I'm keeping my distance here. He's going to be attacking this guy on the right. He's gone into stealth. There we go. Let's try to see if I can go after him. He's going to blink back, though. I got suppressed. Okay, um... I guess you're gonna see the weakness of these weapons now. Definitely not a brawling weapon. <laughs> I'm playing with fire here. This guy's gonna be, uh, he's gonna be teleporting. You can see, yep, there we go. Oh man, two of them! Maybe I can take this guy out, trying to get him down to his last stand. So you see how I struggled? That's why I keep telling, uh, you know, players, these weapons aren't as strong as you might think. I actually think they need a bit of a buff, but what I would do is... Um, because these weapons, they build up that accumulation so quickly. I think I would nerf that and maybe give uh, these weapons a bit more uh, damage. I'm gonna go for this guy here. And I don't know if I can get this guy. Maybe. I need to. I need to fall back. This guy's going to kill me. I need to find cover quickly. Um. Holy shoot. Look at this. Close range. You see I'm struggling. I'm trying to heal here. But I'm going to get locked by that Typhon. And there we go. But at least that kind of gives you an idea of, um, you know, these weapons. Would I run it? Um, maybe two of them. It would be a hybrid build for something like, I don't know, maybe on the Ares or something. Then I would. I don't think I would run four. It's definitely not strong enough for Champion League. At least, like, you know, the higher s rank games that I play in. I can't see myself uh, running that. I think I'd rather run four Skulled weapons if I had a choice between, you know, that and the newer weapon. I wonder if I can hit this guy. I do have Shield Breaker here, which uh, should help a bit. 
This guy's in a scorpion, I think. Yep. Oh, he actually has quantum radar. Man, I was not expecting that. Uh, <laughs> turn around and there's an invader here. Holy jeez. Okay, hold on. I wonder if I can make my way over to that guy. Can I help my teammate out? And, oh, I was hoping to get that Demeter. Okay, so it looks like they have their Titans out. Um, oh, jeez, what just got hit? Oh, this guy has the Striker. I was wondering what that sound was. We have uh, Ming with the uh, Striker weapon there. Okay, so I'm in my uh, Favnia right now. Also, guys, if you happen to miss my Favnia live stream this weekend, definitely check it out. I'm giving away 200 of these, um, you know, these robots. So I'll try to leave a link uh, to that, if I remember, uh, to that live stream. But uh, yeah, currently have a giveaway. Definitely worth it, or at least, uh, you know, worth entering. Man, this guy's gonna, he's gonna kill me. I'm trying to get this, uh, this beacon here just to change it at least. This guy's gonna get taken out. Trying to uh, push him out into the open here. I think we should be able to take him out. There we go. That uh, Spectre is, is doing some work here on me. <laughs> take that guy out. I have to get out of here. This is such a bad place for me to be. Let's try to take out this uh, Spectre. This guy is going to kill me. Actually, you know what I've been noticing, and I'm not sure if it's just my imagination, but uh, our Jungs have been uh, pretty effective at taking out the Favnia too. Okay, let's drop in with the um, the Arthur here. Let's uh, move this way. Pretty sure this is a Titan. Yeah, an Arthur. Okay, so we need to... Uh, we need to try to see if we can break this guy's shield. I think his shields are now broken. That's good. And there we go. Let's try to go for... Whoa! <laughs> Parts of his Arthur just went flying. I actually don't have any shields left. That guy shredded all my shields off here. So we're going to get this beacon and that's pretty much going to be it, I think. Game is almost over. Ah, okay, so we have a Minos. Unfortunately, he didn't get a chance to charge me. So, yeah, let's take a look to see how we did here in this game. So, you know, based on what I'm seeing, because I did like the heavy version, the Hell... I also did the scatty, which is the medium, and then we did the light version here, the snare. So this is kind of how I did. Not really that much damage. Um, like I said, you know, these weapons, they uh, you'll end up struggling with like tanky robots and physical shields. And it's not as overpowered as you might think. I think it's really good at activating like the chips. Okay, so on your drone, let me just uh, show you guys what I mean by that. Okay, so if you have like uh, you know, like Freezer, so it's the uh, circle one here. If you have Freezer, you have Lockdowner, um, Suppressor. If you have any of those chips, these weapons are very good at activating uh, those chips. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely check out the heavy version, so the Hell on the Behemoth. So you can find that under videos, and it's this video over here. I also did the medium version for the Type 1, the Scaddy. Uh, which you can find over there as well. And I'll leave links to that in the video description uh, in case you happen to miss it. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.